Welcome, dear friends, to Matt Bajewski YouTube channel. We're going to talk about an interesting subject today. We're going to go into deep depth. We're going to deep dive. We're going to drown in, in truth. Or to some people, this will be nonsense. But surely we all deserve to hear everybody speak and then we make our own judgment. That's how it works, right? <coughs> So, here we go. The question was put to me, and I had a few questions today, and I quite like this. So please keep your questions coming because I really like them. I, I like to be challenged and I like to, <clears throat> to be able to say, yeah, I, I, I get that, or no, I don't know, I have no idea. There's a lot of things I don't know about, of course, but there's a lot of things I, I definitely know deep in my heart that my experience and what I've seen through my clients over the years, that there's some truths in what I'm saying, but not not wholly the truth. There's no such thing as whole truth because there's, there's the shades of grey in everything, absolutely everything. Why should it just be like that? There could be a lot of things going on involved, but let's just, <clears throat> let's start from the beginning, hey? So there was once a, a fascinating subject that drew me in called The Secret. The Secret was basically about what you think about, what you wish, what they call it visualization, but what you're constantly focused on, it will it will manifest. And um, basically, it means the way you do it is you you do a like one of the things they talked about was a, a visualization board. So you took what you want and stuck it on a board, okay, and eventually it would come to fruition. I did a video about, um, and I actually wrote in my last book, and the book is called Seeing the Invisible. And in that book, I described the, uh, the story of my journey where I truly, hand on my heart, was convinced that visualization was the answer to all the things, and visualizing it, it would manifest. The universe would manifest, but I had a different experience and my experience was about flow, meaning that if you flow in life, it will present itself and all you have to do is keep your eyes open and um, it, will, it will appear, it will happen when it's meant to happen. So it's, it's more in depth in the book, but I'd like to deep dive in this now. And maybe it might make some people think a little bit. And I hope it does, because we've lost the trueness of, of what this world is about, why we're here, and what we're trying to attune to. What is life, what's our purpose, and what's really going on? So this has a lot of um, answers, in my opinion, and can hopefully put the pieces together for you, and you can maybe look upon it as a way that might make you think a little bit more and and have you more open to understanding but then again it might not but let's see so let's go shall we what is the deep dive of the secret of visualization of this great universe of why we're here. So let's start from the beginning. When we're born, we are born, in my humble opinion, an antenna which is ready to receive information. The frequency that we hold, whether it's from being in the womb or whether it's outside of the womb, is the same energetic frequency. So however we are treated as, um, as part of something that was part of our creation, which we would say our mother, if she's treated badly, we would still pick up that same frequency. So depending on, on um, the mother's um, moment of conception to you coming out of her beautiful womb 
is hugely important. Because when you come out of the womb, if you've been involved with your mother's life, which <clears throat> might not have been a good one, whether that's being addicted to certain foods, which causes you great harm for when you come out, you're not as strong, and you might have uh, illness, you might have sickness, you might have um, all sorts of issues that you can't eat certain foods and stuff. Not because of you, because of your mother and what she's been through. You might come out uh, as a baby who was healthy, happy and jolly and, and joyful because your mother had a beautiful birth and she took care of herself, she looked after her body, uh, her partner was kind, caring, uh, family around her protected her and realised that that was a very important moment of the baby's life. Some people still have that ancient knowledge. So you come out of the womb and um, let's say that your partner is abusive. You come out and you're traumatized and you, didn't even, you don't even realize why, but you are, you're traumatized because you were involved in that trauma. So you come out and all of a sudden now you're fed um, energetic frequencies because the mother is talking to you as a baby and you don't really understand yet because you're digesting frequency. So you're learning as a baby. You're not like a, an animal that comes out and in a few months you're able to understand everything, feel everything, know everything, attune to everything. It takes a couple of three years before you even start to understand anything. So as that time goes on, whatever is happening to you at any given moment is definitely important to the latter stages of um, your kind of like teenage years up to the end of your uh, moment being here. We often uh, are hijacked, sabotaged, we are often uh, abused, we are often um, given things that we shouldn't have. We are, you know, like uh, bad foods, sweets, uh, um, um, uh, poisons that have been put into us that are, is changing our frequency and changing everything that we actually came into this world and if we were looked after carefully we would attune to far more easier and we would have a connection that has been severed from the moment we are born by that what is called the system and everything else which is attached to it in every no matter where you are as soon as you come out it's hijacked instantly and it's deliberate. It's deliberate because it's meant to stop you from attuning to your higher self and the connection to what I'm coming to, the most important part about this. So, clear all that away now and let's start again, okay? Because this is the interesting thing. Many people talk about visualization as if it is a universal energy that just gives us but what is universal energy? What is it? Why is it that we so forget something that's so important? Why is it? Well, there's a reason for it. But let me tell you something. When I first started doing this, what's called psychic work, I don't like the word, but to attune to something else, I realized that each client that came in, whether they were famous, whether they were like me, just a human being getting on with life, a mum, a brother, sister, auntie, cousins, whoever it was, whatever they did in their life, whether they were uh, athletic, whether they were champion football players, whoever came for a session, the one thing that was so obvious to me was that as I was seeing their future, their past, their present, when I was feeling their energetic frequency, I would say there was never once, apart from maybe two people that I read for, which I don't believe were of this world, the one thing that was absolutely written in stone and always going to happen was that somebody else entered the room whether that was one, two, three, 20, 50, whether the room was so full of, of what's called spirit, not energetic frequencies, but spirit. Yes, they're an energetic frequency, of course they are, but they are different from what you would conceive as a universal energy. And who are these 
this who, what is this energy what are these 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 entities <laughs> well they're your brothers and sisters they they are you you are one with them they are family the only way you can perceive this is me saying it's your family so what would happen is that someone would sit down and say okay i'm getting a feeling that there's somebody in the room and they'd smile and I'd say that they're on your left hand side or they're on your right hand side and then they'd smile again because they could feel something tingling or touching them or something like that and said, do you get it? Do you feel it? Yes, I do. Okay, so do I. And I feel them now and I feel this and I feel that. And then they'd start crying and say, it's my grandma, it's my brother uh, who died when he was six or it's this and that. And I'd, I'd give them information and, I'd, and always through that time, it was like mind blowing. And sometimes I would, after the session, I'd sit there and think, this is quite amazing. So where I'm getting to here is that what I believe wholehearted, that is, is really not really focused on at all, is that when you visualize, when you visualize, when you apply the secret into your life I just have one thing that I go deeper into there's a woman behind me there's two actually there's a guy on the wall over there there's another woman on the wall there's another woman on the wall and there's another woman over there on the wall they are all in spirit world what makes it so difficult for you guys not to understand this And what that is, is this. What if, when you visualize, that that visualization is not a message to your family and friends in spirit who are now going to start work to try and create what you're asking for? Who decided that there is this great universe that we all of a sudden may call God or who, who, who said it's this great universe? It sounds great, it sounds amazing, but in my reality, in my simple little days of working in a room for 12 years every day and for traveling all over the world and listening to so many people telling me their stories and me being involved in certain circumstances in this world. Why is it so difficult for you not to understand that actually? Instead of visualizing, why don't you attune to somebody that you love in the spirit world and ask them to play a part in your life and to help you? Now, here's where we go deeper. Who says that you didn't already ask for help from somebody in the spirit world to help you? What I totally get is that when I read people's futures or when I did, I would give them information that they had no clue about. And they'd look at me, many of them, like I was either crazy or they were clueless. And yet, one week later, a year later, five years later, what was said had happened. Now, where do you think that came from? If we look at the, the, simplest, the simplest explanation to something, it makes sense that your family or friends or people that you love in the spirit world we're already asked to do this before you even came into this world. And what they're giving me is information that you already wanted. So they're about to help you. Sometimes you don't even know what you want. Sometimes you don't even know what you want. But who says that you can't change your future? Oh, everything goes wrong. Well, hang on a minute. Let's stop now. Let's change that and forget a prayer per se, because they are prayers when all said and done. Visualization is a prayer. It's asking the universe, well, let's just say we fix our energy on our family and loved ones in the spirit world and ask them to help. 
So a lot of the times I used to give talks and say to people, they used to tell me, oh, I, I did this and did that and then this happened. And I said, well, w when that happened, this very special moment for you and you met somebody that you loved, do you think that that just happened at that moment? Do you think that was just happened instantly? And they'd go, I don't know. And I'd say, let me tell you how challenging it must be for the spirit world to try and make certain things happen where you come together with certain people whether they are people that are challenging to you your life awful abusive or loving kind caring all of these things are part of the journey and these things are not just like coincidences so if we are if we can change slightly our path by way of asking then my feeling is that it's possible and I believe by asking my mum which I have many times to help me at certain points knowing that she can't interfere with my real true path my purpose the reason why I'm here but she can help me with what my dreams and goals are. So she says, look, Mark, you have to go through this, but I'm going to help you here as much as I can. I'm going to hold your hand as much as I can. I'm going to help you with this and give you this to help you and give somebody here to help you at that moment. But Mark, your path is what you ask for. I can't change that even though your head tells you you want to change it. Your heart knows what you've come here for. And the most challenging moments of your life are normally that what make you the most strongest spirit when you move back home. So my truth about this visualization is a little, just a, a flick of a switch, just change it. And change it to your family in the spirit world, your friends, people who are there who love you. You might even not even remember them, but try and tune into them. And sit down today and have a conversation with them. Sit down and say, come to me now please, because they hear you. As soon as you call them, they'll come to you. And tell them what you would like and ask them if they can help. And one thing I can reassure you 100% with is that spirit then begins their work to try and help you. If you have visualized or thought of something, they already hear that and work towards that. So what I'm trying to say is, even though you believe in the secret. The spirit world are ultimately the ones to help this happen. That's my truth. So today, bring that missing piece. And that missing piece is your family and friends in the spirit world who love you, who will and who have agreed this soul agreement to walk with you on your journey, not only of protection, but to guide you in a place where you have to go through things because you asked to, but also give you the, those moments where you feel better, give you a precious animal to make you feel good, a healer, because animals are healers. I don't even like the word pet or, or animal, but four-legged friends with spirit, they, they come to heal us. Or somebody who is a human being who just makes us feel better by a touch or doing something that makes us feel better or creates or helps us or gives us a little a helping hand but I noticed that when I let go of this idea of this this vision board and said to my mum okay ma'am whatever you want I'll I'll trust you and I, I'll, I'll I'll just just open my eyes and get on with my life and I'll keep my eyes open I'll keep my heart open and I'll see what happens and you guide me as soon as I did that Everything just appeared. Everything. The magic just happened. That's how I've seen it over these years with my clients who created magic. So I think the missing piece to visualization, the missing piece to the secret, the missing piece to getting the things that you want in your life is kind of a prayer, but to try and connect to your loved ones in the spirit world and then start this new path together like me and my mum and this beautiful lady behind my mum to help me, to help myself, to help me feel stronger, happier through the times of challenges 
so that I can overcome them and that they play their part equally to I play my part. I wholeheartedly know that these two ladies, as well as everybody on this wall, plays a part in my life to help other people. And I recognize these people by saying thank you every day to them. I talk to them as much as I can and, and they know exactly what I'm saying. They know exactly how I feel. Even though I'm not speaking, I am speaking to them in my heart and my, my intuition. Those times when you meditate or when you're in the alpha mode where you're just driving and you think about them and you, you just, just say, I'd love to be able to do this today. I have a change of heart. I'd like to try this today. And they go, okay, let's get on with it. And then I trust them. I trust them with all my heart. I never, ever say why. Why not now? Because that kills it. Don't do that. Just trust and keep going. And that trust builds up an energetic frequency that brings in exactly what you need. So the only person that stops you from getting what you would love to have and, and this new life is yourself. And that really bothers people really bothers people because they expect everything to happen to them. Give me everything. Actually, it doesn't work like that. It's a partnership between your family and the spirit world and you. So you've got to get up off your bum and you've got to get out there and do your stuff. But at the same time, like many people who hold this secret who know it, they don't share it with you. I can, t I can repeat so many people that I know who never puts it on their website and who are famous with all over the world but never tell you this but I'm telling you they do what I'm doing and that is that they are speaking to their family and spirit who help them who work with them and they won't tell you that unless you really get to know them so that is the missing piece to me and maybe it's time to start becoming more in tune with those that are always around you, always guiding you, always whispering to you, always leading you in the way that you ask them to. And I trust that with all my heart. And I've never been let down since I made that decision of not looking at the board saying the universe. I look up and say, thanks mom, thank you so much. And I talk to her and I talk to Brian. I talk to Shirley. I do. I talk to everybody on here, all the people that I love, Penelope, all of those who I know made a commitment to work with me. You are no different. I am no different from you. Don't ever allow yourself to believe that, oh, Max, this, that is nothing different than you. It's just that I apply what I know in my heart through the experience of everybody that I've worked with, meaning that my clients who came to me and I thought, wow, this works. And I've seen it work with other people very well, very well. So give that a try today because maybe that's the missing piece. Maybe not, but it's worked for me and my clients for many years now. And that's why I wrote about it. So connect today to your family and even if you were abused by your family members and you thought they hated you or you hated them let it go and if you want to say okay you are awful to me well let's be be nice to me now help me now let's work together and then you heal that you heal it and watch the magic come in because I tell you this is a fact whenever somebody has agreed to do something on this earthly playing with you together as a physical spacesuit with the spirit inside and they've done something harmful or bad to you when they've gone back to the spirit world they do all they can to show you their love so you don't feel that pain and that pain that you felt was actually there because you asked them to give you that pain and that's a really difficult one to grasp How, why would i why would i want anybody to abuse me well, maybe it's not about abuse. Maybe it's about how you overcome all the suffering that you've been through to become a stronger and more powerful soul. Why was it my dad abused me every day? My dad helps me all the time now. Just bear that in mind. They never wanted to hurt you. 
but they were strong enough to say, I will do it for you. That is a, a hard pill to swallow, but I tell you this now, I get it completely now. And I do not hate anybody, nobody. And my life is filled with magic. And those who were there to help me through those awful moments of pain and suffering, I thank them every day because I am the stronger version and I felt it and overcome it and I am much happier in my life. And anybody who is a sensitive, who's watching this will understand what I'm saying because it's a hard pill to swallow when you're a sensitive and it's really awful when people are awful to you. But when you can overcome it by way of experience and saying, okay, I get it, I love you, and you know what, you did what you did, but you know, that was my path, my journey, and I asked for it. Get away, Mr. Bajerski, you're horrible. I didn't want her to hurt me, I didn't want him to hurt me. Well, that's how I overcome it, and that's how I saw it. And my worst enemy, when moved into the light, became my best friend, and I realized, oh my God. This is my best friend. Who on earth would I ask in the spirit world to help me go through such pain but my best friend? Think about it. It's food for thought. Start today. Forgive. Forgive everything. Forgive yourself because you've done nothing wrong. Forgive the person who's hurt you because they've done nothing wrong. Forgive them and move on and let go and watch how they will help if they've moved into the spirit world. Come on then, you owe me a lot, pal. Let's get to work. But it's not all about wealth. It's about inner peace. It's about joy. It's about magic. And that's what you're here to create. If it's about a visualization board of a, a big, big house and lots of money, well, that's not what I'm talking about. But anyway, one step at a time, eh? Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for being here at markbyerski.com. Um, oh, what did I say, markbyerski.com? <laughs> Thank you for being... Strike that last line out. Thank you so much, guys, for being here at YouTube, Mark Bayerski. The channel may go down at any time because I've had two strikes because I've said things that they didn't like. So if you do find that this channel isn't up, and I'm hoping it stays up, uh, if it, it does go down, then a great idea right now is nip over. In fact, I'll put the link below to the Crystal channel and sign up there. So if they do take me down here, you know you can find me tomorrow there. Uh, have a most beautiful evening, guys. Love you all. I don't know whether this has uh, made any difference, but at least you can give it a try. It worked for me. And it worked for a lot of my clients. Take care.